Hi Monica, I have your scans here. Um, I'm gonna go over three sets of numbers with you and I'm currently driving, we're driving to Georgia, so we're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> really has been drugged up, so yeah. So all right, let me go over these quick with you. Um, so numbers in black, these are your, this past scan that you just took, uh, your last scan, June 28th. Very serious scan on June 8th, so the 20 days before that, okay? And that's the numbers in black. So the water inside your cells went up 0.4 pounds. I'm sorry, it went down 0.4 pounds. Water outside your cells went down uh, 0.7 pounds, so you lost 1.1 pound of water weight and you lost 0.3 pounds of uh, dry lean mass, which is not significant at all. I know we don't want to lose any, but that's not that significant. And you did lose 1.3 pounds of body fat, which is great. Okay, so lean body mass went down 1.3 pounds. Not significant, most of it being water. And then your net loss was 2.1 pounds of uh, body fat loss, which is great. And, uh, well, I said body fat, but it's body weight. So you lost 2.6 pounds of, of body weight. You only lost 0.4 pounds of skeletal muscle mass, which is great. And then your body fat, you lost 1.3 pounds. So you lost 0.3% of your body fat, which is all good. Um, the, the, the skeletal muscle mass that you did lose though showed up definitely in you know your ability to support your body weight. You know, you're kind of like on that bubble where you you know, being able to support your body weight by 100% is important in all of your limbs. So you really can't afford to lose really any skeletal muscle mass and dry lean mass. And that's why, you know, every time you talk to me and Carlene, we're stressing you to get your protein and whatever else. So your arm lost 1.6% ability to support your body weight. Your left arm lost 0.7, which isn't that significant. Your core lost 0.3, which isn't that significant. But your legs lost 1.5%, 1.4%, and I don't love that. Okay. And then over here, we saw this. So your body fat went down, recommendation to lose body fat went down 1.3 pounds, which is great. But the scan is now telling you that you need to gain two pounds of muscle. And honestly, that you needing to gain two pounds of muscle is so much more important right now than losing any body fat. Okay, and that is an, an increase of 1.3 pounds from your last scan. So it was 19.6 and 0.7, and now it's 18.3 and 2. So, you know, I don't love that the need for you to gain um, muscle is happening. All right, so it's something we definitely need to take into consideration with your diet. I know you're so focused on weight loss and scale and losing body fat, but more important for you at this point in your life, at this age, is that number needs to be zero. So right arm and left arm um, body fat stayed the same. You lost 0.6 pounds of body fat off your trunk, which is great. And then you lost 0.2 pounds of body fat off of uh, each leg. And then your visceral fat levels went down to level. Now 10 or below is considered healthy. And you're at level 9, so that's great. So really, like, you know, the emphasis really needs to be putting on muscle. All right. So the numbers in red are this scan versus the very first scan that you did for this um, last session. So that's versus um, the April 18th scan, April 18th scan, okay? So that one's right here. And just before we go over that, in the session you lost one pound, or not one pound, sorry, you lost one inch off of your waist, two and a quarter inches off your hips, and three three quarters off of your chest. So you lost a um, good amount of inches there, which is great. Like I said, we just don't want to be losing body fat. Okay. So the numbers, this is, uh, the numbers in red are this last scan, 628, versus your scan on 418. So you lost 0.9 pounds of water um, inside the cells, 1.1 pounds of water outside the cells, so two pounds of water loss, water weight loss. And you lost 0.7 pounds of dry lean mass, which isn't significant, but it is for you, right? Um, and then you gained 0.5 pounds of body fat, which really isn't significant. So your lean body mass is down 2.7 pounds, 
most of that being water, but 0.7, I don't love that at all because that's a lot of muscle cells for you. And then your body weight. And the reason why I say it's a lot of muscle cells for you is because people that have like their numbers here are well above 100%, like 130, 130, you know, 115, 110, 110% able to support their body weight. If they lose that much skeletal muscle mass, but they have, and then they lose body fat too, then that's okay. It's not okay for you though because of how close you are and under you are 100%. That's why I'm emphasizing that so much. Um, so your net loss was 2.2 pounds. Okay, so you lost 2.2 pounds. You lost 1.3 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. That's quite a bit of skeletal muscle mass lost in the program, you know, over 12 weeks. And you gained 0.5 pounds of body fat. Okay, so you gained 1% of your body fat. So in terms of, you know, the muscle loss that you experienced in the 12 weeks, your right arm lost 2.4% ability to support your body weight, left arm 2.7, your trunk is 0.9, your right leg is 1.4, and your left leg is 1%. Okay, so here they were, here were the percentage 102, 103, 102, 89, almost 90, 91, and then they're now they're down to 100, 101, 101.9, 88, and 90. Okay, and then up here, um, this is plus, plus 0.7 pounds, which isn't a lot, and it's plus two pounds. When you went into this program, you were at 17.6, and this was a zero. And because of the muscle loss, now it's telling you you need to gain two pounds of muscle, and its uh, body fat is up. So, uh, body fat stayed the same throughout the program, pretty much, and your visceral fat levels stay the same. So, I mean, you know, like, again, I just don't know, you know, you, you were eating to lose weight when you can't afford to do that. You really need to eat to, um, eat to support muscle gain. And I know that freaks you out because you're nervous that you're going to gain weight. But honestly, you need to, because like being able to support your body weight with your limbs is most important at 58 years old. Okay, and then once you can do that, once these muscles get stronger and you can support your limbs no problem, then you can move more weight in the gym and that's when you can experience um, weight loss in a healthy way. Okay, not starving yourself and, and not like eating like a bird and, you know, obsessing over the scale. Alright, so the next number we're going to go over is green. This is your number. That's your numbers of this last scan. June 28th versus your very first scan that we took in September, uh, September 15th, September 15th, okay, so this was your first scan that you took with me in the fall, okay, and just take a quick look too, I, I have your inches lost from June 28th compared to September 15th. So you lost two inches on your waist, you lost 3.75, so three and three quarters inches on your hips, and you lost one and a half inches on your chest, which is significant um, inches lost, all right? So you lost those inches, that's a big inches lost. You gained muscle since September, and you lost fat since September. I know this past 12 week program was a little bit of a struggle in those areas, but overall what has happened to you since, since September has been pretty good with the exception of the recent muscle loss. So let's take a let's take a look at those numbers. I know the sun is shining on here and it's bright, but I can see them nice and clear. It's probably bright on your end, but all right, so your water stayed the same inside your cells since September and you lost 1.3 pounds of water outside your cells, so that's not significant at all. And you only lost, like, the muscle that you did lose since September is only 0.3 pounds. Okay, so most of that muscle loss did occur in the um, past 12 weeks, okay? And since September, you did lose four pounds of body fat, which is good. It's good. I know that's kind of, those two numbers have been all over the place for you because I think you're just making some 
you might be making too rapid adjustments with your food. Like you see the scale today and it's up a little bit so you don't eat. And then you see the scale tomorrow and it's up a little bit and you eat even less. And then the scale goes down and then you eat some more the next day because the scale goes down. That is not working, right? So what's the definition of insanity? So we need to not watch the scale so much. And I don't know how I can get you to do that for me. All right, so continuing on here. So um, body water is down 1.3 pounds, not significant. Lean body mass is down 1.6 with most of that being water, only 0.3 pounds of dry lean mass, which is good. And then body fat is down four. So your loss since, net loss of weight since um, September is 5.6 pounds. Okay, 5.6 pounds. good um, with only you know most of that being fat which is good okay uh, so body weight's down 5.6 pounds skeletal muscle mass stayed the same which is great and body fat is down um, four pounds which is great so you lost 1.6 percent of your body weight now since September you've had a lot of good gains in your upper body it's just the lower body actually went down in strength in September. I just don't love that at all for you. You know, that's like your effect. Now you're starting to affect things like your ability to balance. Um, you know, like if you're on one foot and if you start to fall, but your ability to catch yourself from falling, all of those things are so incredibly important. More important than the scale. All right, so... Um, Right arm, you, you gain the ability to support your body weight 1.4%, getting that above 100, which is great. Left arm, you gain 2.5%, again, getting that above 100. Your trunk, you gain 2.6%, getting that above 100. And then your right leg, you actually lost 5%. Your left leg, you lost 3.1%. That's significant strength loss in your legs. So you went from 93 and 93 to 88 and 90. So when we started this, the recommendation was to lose 22.5 pounds of body fat and to gain 0.7 pounds of muscle. That's down, the body fat is down 4.2 pounds, but the needing to gain muscle is uh, needing to gain 1.3 more pounds of muscle, okay? So where did you lose the body fat from? You lost 0.4 pounds off of your right arm and your left arm. You lost one and a half pounds off of your trunk, which is great, and you lost almost a full pound of muscle off of each leg. And another thing is your visceral fat levels went down two levels since September, which is great. They're at level nine. They were at level 11. Anything 10 of you low is healthy. So that's great. That's your internal fat. That's, you know, the dangerous fat. So again, because your visceral fat levels are so low, I, I, that's another reason why I think you need to stop worrying so much about fat loss and the scale and you really need to focus on muscle gain especially increasing strength in those legs okay so I hope all that makes sense let me know if you have any questions um, and yeah we're gonna be ready to go back at this in the fall 3 p.m. class which I'm super excited for you but I would like to see you you know work on uh, your diet getting some muscle mass built up this summer especially in your legs and that needs to happen with your diet so let me know if you have questions